start with the reading, Virgo. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Keep in mind that energies go both ways, so please feel free to interpret the messages. It's the best to resonate with you. Also, I am selecting people for free personal readings. Keep watching to know how to get selected. All right, let's see what's going on with you today, Virgo. What I'm seeing here is that you are confused about someone's intentions um, regarding this situation. You feel as though this person at times is very loving, very nice with you. They say exactly what you are expecting them to say. They are showing themselves to be perhaps a reliable partner, someone who's there when you need to talk. But also some other times here, we see this person changing completely. And overall, this change and this transformation is making you very confused about what the intentions of this person might be. Right here, I see that you are overall not wanting to end up with your heart broken. This is something that perhaps you've had already to experience in the past, something that you uh, maybe have started seeing a pattern around. You feel as though now you can almost anticipate when you are about to enter a three of swords energy and so right here you are immediately trying to heal from that before it's too late i see that you want to fall in love with this person and trust me this person wants you to fall in love with them but often they feel not safe they feel as though maybe you shouldn't trust them Maybe they're not the type of person that you can really rely on. So right here, I just see you wanting to reorganize your thoughts around the situation because the passion is definitely there. The connection is definitely there. But you do not want to get into a situation where you will be stuck in, where you will be unhappy and where perhaps you're going to feel weak in it. And so right here, I definitely see a conflict within you, what your mind says and what your heart says instead, but also a need for action, a need to understand what to do next. How should I move into this situation that right now seems very confusing? Should I reach out to this person? How should I interpret their actions or their known actions because what i'm seeing so far is that this person almost changes skin around you they change at times personality they feel like they have different roles depending on when you are meeting them when you are talking to them there is something that keeps changing about this person and perhaps you cannot understand why We keep talking about change and transformation, and here it is, with death. Sometimes this person really feels as though they want a happily ever after with you. They want to be that partner. They want to be there for you, Virgo. And then instead, some other times, they make you feel as though you have to protect yourself from them. And this is just a fluctuation, a type of change that you cannot explain to yourself right now. So right here, there is definitely something that this person is perhaps doing on purpose. The more I look into the situation, the more it feels to me that they have a plan, that this is not a um, something that it's happening and it's out of control. It feels more like a strategy, perhaps like a game, something that they're doing on purpose for a specific end goal 
that they clearly have here with the Ace of Wands. They know what they're doing and perhaps they are trying different things here and there in order to see what sticks. Should I be the type of person that shows my Virgo all of the love, all of the passion, or should I be the type of person that instead is not always available, that uh, doesn't commit, someone who maybe needs to be chased after in order to connect with? So right here, they're trying to pretty much act different parts in your life uh, in order to see what really works with you. At the end of the day, whatever they're doing here, Virgo, is to make you fall in love with them. But I do see someone who now perhaps lacks in personality and lacks in confidence, especially. And they tend to change depending on your reaction. That's exactly what I see here. This transformation right here is very much based on how you act. And so their plans often change depending on what you say, depending on what you do, depending on the expression on your face. There is something here and every time they look at it, they focus on it, they calibrate their own actions. And I do believe that this is very exhausting for you. Yeah, I mean, it's clear right here with the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Swords, you are looking for balance. You are looking for something that you can trust, you can rely on, you can grow with. And this change in personality, in role, in overall energy is just something that it's not really resonating with you. And so I keep seeing that duality here when it comes to your person. We've seen what that's about. They always change depending on your reaction. And the duality for you is that what should I do? Should I stay and try to see if this can work or should I just move on? Because if it keeps going like this, I'm just going to get so frustrated that I'm going to end up back into that three of swords that you're definitely trying not to get to. I see right here that for you, balance right now is very important. Balance in your life, um, being able to provide for yourself to provide yourself uh, happiness, stability. And so whenever someone threatens that stability, you are starting to detach emotionally from that situation a little bit because you want to do things right. Yes, you do want to fall in love. Who doesn't? But at the same time, you don't want for that love to be destructive. You don't want for that person to have access to a area of your life that instead you should have control over alone, just you, not anybody else. So I do sense that the more time passes, uh, this person doesn't change, but the more you are detaching and this person doesn't know what else to try. We see it here. They are very observant. They really trying to understand everything about you, depending on what you say, on how you move, and not just in front of them, but also on social media, perhaps. Somewhere where they can look at you without you knowing that they are looking at you. Right here, this person is really trying every trick in the book. And the fact is that they're not realizing that the only thing that perhaps is going to work out here is to be vulnerable, is to be honest. Even if that can sound risky, if it can sound that it's going to not end up well for them, depending on your reaction, still, it's the only thing that really has a chance to work out here. And we see it, in fact, with the strength card, which talks about 
admitting how you feel, being vulnerable, having the strength to be vulnerable, um, allowing yourself to experience all sorts of emotions, the beautiful one, but maybe the dark ones as well. Because when you feel a lot, like this person clearly does for you, you are letting in love and the potential to get hurt at the same time. The one doesn't go without the other. It's just the way it is. Right here, you see these two pentacles might seem very distant, but they come together. They are together. And one of them is the happiness. The other one is the potential disappointment. Potential is always there, but depending on what you focus on and depending on your approach, you're going to experience one or the other. Right now, given their approach, they are experiencing perhaps themselves some sort of frustration. But I do see that this person is uh, soon getting to the, the answer that they're looking for. Again, trying to understand who to become next, uh, what type of personality to embody right next to you in order to get you closer to them. And right here, they have been selecting the wrong ones, but the right one is right there. It feels like the risky one with the snake, but in fact, it's going to be the correct one. The one that will definitely let you know who this person really is and how they really feel towards you. So it has been confusing, but soon things are about to change. We see how the seven of cups is it's getting closer than ever to the ten of cups, the place where the two of you truly belong. So I do believe that with these cards here, seven of cups and two of wands, this person is about to do the right thing and perhaps making the right move in order to make this situation progress because up to this point it has been stuck and the both of you have felt a lot of frustration because of it so let's see what this person is planning to do in the immediate future let's see what they they are realizing about the situation and how their actions are going to impact this relationship. It, is it going to fix it? Are things going to work out? Or is there more struggle on the horizon for you? Let's see how this connection is going to evolve depending on what this person is about to do. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, just follow me in the extended video link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week, I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out uh, your spam folder as well. Sometimes the emails go there. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading, Virgo. What we have seen here is someone who is clearly trying to make you fall in love with them, but their ways are all wrong. They are trying to use a lot of strategies, a lot of games, and they don't realize that with you at least, the only thing that they can really do in order to make this successful, it's being honest. It's truly open up their heart to you because you are someone they can absolutely trust. You're not someone who is going to hurt them. In fact, from what we see here is that your fears of being hurt are actually their fears as well. And so the two of you keep connecting regardless of the struggle because you are on the same page. And without you knowing, you want the same things. So I do believe that this person is about to change strategy. We see with the seven of cups, something that they are about to decide to do, which can potentially change the very dynamic of the situation. And so let's immediately focus on the seven of cups and let's see what that's about.
This is a complete change. 